Uh, yes, we're back, but I'm still detecting dropped frames. I don't know what's going on. Um, I had a problem before. For sure. For some reason, I was streaming through the, uh, the Asia server. Um, so I fixed that. I set it back to auto. But I'm still getting dropped frames, and I'm not sure why. Um... Hey, Sai. Is the audio... the audio is definitely good now, Crow. It's better. You know what, now that I'm seeing it in the, the mixer, it, it does look... pretty okay. Like, the music is about where I want it to be, so... Yeah, we'll just stick with this, and... If it is too low, I can always boost it. Thank you for always being... Uh, always paying attention to detail. Uh, English, okay. Um, but also let me know if the drop frames become a problem. It doesn't seem to be happening consistently now. It seems okay. So maybe it was just a server thing. Logic difficulty, kind. Action difficulty, okay. There's no setting for dialogue speed, right? Hey. I don't remember there being one. Okay, no visual drop. All right. I'll try not to worry about it then and just see how this goes, but definitely let me know if it becomes a problem. Can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too, since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I... I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I... I... Okay, good sleep, Doc. I'll see you later. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Yes, we will take note. Uh, I tried to go back and see if I had a recording in this game, and unfortunately, not only do I no longer have the VOD for my old Danganronpa 2 stream attempt, I should say, but I also don't have VODs for like half of Danganronpa 1. I think there was just a point in my streaming hobby where like I was just so frustrated with the crashes that I was having that I just like stopped putting any effort <laughs> whatsoever besides the bare minimum into it. But since I fixed that, I will definitely uh, keep up the practice of putting VODs together. Um, I think my policy for games like this that are gonna have continuity and be like a series um i'm gonna save highlights of the full streams as collections on twitch and also upload them to youtube as an archival thing because i know at some point i'm gonna run out of space for highlights on twitch and i'm gonna have to start deleting some um 
And then for things like Overwatch, which are just like endlessly replayable, I'm not even going to bother with mods or highlights. Clips, probably, but nothing more than that. Yeah, thankfully most of, most of Breath of the Wild is on YouTube, but not the very end of it. I think I got like halfway through it. There's only up to part 12, unfortunately. Um, but hey, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out one day, so look forward to that, I guess. Let's get back to it. Hope's Peak Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, If you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of the school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. And two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is that the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself, and formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why, to feel like a member of society, to become someone I can be proud of, I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always wanted to... For that reason, I always, 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 until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why I hope. I might have admitted talent individuality, but I have finally, forever tried my best, finally came true. Huh? What is this? It's... a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because... I need to go inside this classroom. Need? W what need? No. I should hurry. goes there uh. um are you feeling all right you look quite pale 
Um... Hey, could you be... You're also a freshman at this school, right? Uh, then... You're all... See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. These guys. Everyone? The freshmen who were accepted into Hope Speak Academy? The Ultimates? I assume... Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered. Hmm. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? I don't remember most of these voices, <laughs> uh, but I do remember... I do remember this, guys. Yakia. Um, as for everybody else, I might not do a voice right away. I might just figure it out as I go, but... I'm gonna have fun with it. Uh, uh, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying to my very best to act cool, I want to actually lower the volume a bit more. How can I get to that? I don't see the option yet, so maybe I have to wait until I'm done with the dialogue. <laughs> I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me. What? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so... Is there, like, an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Ah! Uh, is this everyone? How do you know? There are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. And just what are we going to talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something out of everyone here. Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Uh... We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So, before you realized it, you were in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid-looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here? Hey! Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness. And now you're here and you don't know why. <laughs> that is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? <laughs> that happened to me too, but... Huh? That dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence, then? Huh? Huh? So in other words... Meaning, we can only speculate who is responsible for this strange phenomenon. <laughs> Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Uh, I don't know what you're so worried about, 
But that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? Impossible. Eh? Seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Huh? It won't open. I can't open it. Huh? Huh? Why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. But that door wouldn't budge at all! Hey, hey, what's going on? Jeez. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? Huh? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. Sh she's right. It's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. <sighs> Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. There's no denying what that there's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside. What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous. This is... Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak, Hope's Peak Academies? However... But according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! Uh, you're wrong. This is not an entrance exam. What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard. Hey, fat ass. Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then whose is it? Um... It's actually mine. <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps... It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk. Hello! Alright! I see everyone has arrived! Let's begin! Alright, I remember this now. <laughs> and already I... Feel my what? voice rapidly what dying. Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical miracle girl Usami, aka Usami. Ooh woo. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. Huh? Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? <laughs> That's a chihuahua? Everyone. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. My voice needs to, like, get... Trained again. <laughs> That's what I am! A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot! Uh, hold on, let me process this first. Okie dokie! Um, um, what do you guys think? I I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. <laughs> it's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Even if it's remote control, doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said. Come on. 
And it seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. What is school that? trip? Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? <laughs> a large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. Now let's depart for the fun school trip. Depart? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain, too. Uh, the world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was... Blue sky? White clouds? Blue sea? White waves? What, what the hell is this? No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Hey, hey! Um. Huh? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency! Where are we? Why? What's going on? Everyone! Everyone, please stay calm! <laughs> there is no reason to panic. See? Look around! Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean! It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where, you ask? Well, obviously we're... <laughs> out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. Out by the sea! <laughs> I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um, you know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this. But we were just at school, and now we are by the sea. This is impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. But, like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. Sh she's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope's Peak Academy. I see. Uh, Hope's Peak Academy, I see. I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy. And in that case... Alrighty. Please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Uh, huh? The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? Uh, what? What? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? Ta-da! Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people in danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? What? C kill each other? No, no, no way. Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. Ugh, so scary. What are you thinking? Then, what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? 
While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. Heart-throbbing school trip? Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovely, dovey, heart-throbbing school trip is everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then. Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering. My mind ground to a halt. Yes, I would like to save. Epilogue ends? What? Why is this on here? Oh. <laughs> I think Kelly actually replayed this once a while ago. I think this is my save here. Hey. Can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Hey. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can just leave someone alone when they took that pail. White sandy beach. Crystal blue ocean. The sun's rays beaming down on me. This soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I, I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope Speak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Ah, uh, Dongan Island. Right. I remember this being a little bit different. The way that you navigate the world, it's like a side-scroller, but everything else is um, pretty familiar. Uh, can I change settings now? See, so I go to system, but that doesn't really change anything. I'll press the R key to exit the room. Oh. That's not really... Open handbook menu. Maybe that's what I want. I don't have a handbook yet. Uh, open help, maybe? Oh, that's what that is. Open transcript, F2. No, I don't have anything yet. 
can I save whenever I want? Or is it all auto save? Oh well. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? Oh right, it's by system, right, Crow? It used to be in system. I'm so confused. I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. It's a mighty fine palm tree, but now is not the time for me to be impressed by it. Okay, I won't worry. The crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. I just wanted to go to school. Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. I forgot that he was the ultimate lucky student, like Makoto was in Danganronpa 1. Meaning, he just got here by chance. I wonder what that makes me. Ah, along with my introduction. I guess I'll also tell you about my talent, so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything, that's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called anyway. Luck memories. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Hope Speak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery, is that really okay? I mean, even... I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. What happened? Your face looks... troubled. Oh, no, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this, too. So I never thought that an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope Speak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it. But they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. Hope Speak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope Speak Academy. So, for that, I'm grateful. This is troubling. But, on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. <laughs> Sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Hmm. Nagito Komeda, huh? Doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Mm. Then, let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... I... I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages. It is that kind of uncomfortable feeling. 
The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Uh, uh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Uh, it's nothing. I, I guess I'm still pretty confused about all of this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. Hmm. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So I don't think I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Hey, did something just beep? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh right. You seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but... What is this? It's an e book! What the? Where'd you come from? I'm sorry. Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um... Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. This device is that important? I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all of the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right! Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love, love. Hey! She's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. N you're probably right, but... More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. N that's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps. Maybe they're exploring the island as well? Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? <laughs> so, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll take along with you. So, now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? But is this really okay? <laughs> to feel so relaxed in such a strange situation. Perhaps it's the tropical climate. Or is it that, uh, what's her name, Usami's fault? What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Right. Got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh. What kind of nightmare is that? Oh good, I can use the handbook now. I can save and load my game inside the handbook. Yay! Yes, I will definitely play around with it. Uh, 
Uh, pets? All oh, right, there's pets. <laughs> uh, here. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I still want the the voice volume to be as audible as my own voice, so I'm gonna lower the BGM volume a whole lot, and then I'm gonna boost it a little bit, and see how that does. Okay. I'll bring this up from 70 to 80. Let's try 90, maybe. Let's see how that does. Is that too loud? Or is that good? Or about the same as before? I guess we'll find out. Hey. Ah, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. It is quieter, but the voices are definitely clear. Okay, cool. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Huh? You don't know? This school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then, was I also... Hmm. hmm. I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help out too, so why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, yeah, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on this island, and then... Oh. There's something else. If you look at the map in your e-handbook, you'll be able to see where everyone is. Ah, yes. Thank goodness. I remember being uh, happy about that feature, <laughs> and I still am. Right, the side scrolling. Yes, the pet. It grows based on the number of steps you take, so it's like a Tamagotchi. A small reward. God, the animations are so, like, paper dolly. <laughs> okay, I suppose we'll start here. At the ranch. It's probably backwards from how I was doing it the first time. Oops. Oh. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. I didn't know you could do that. Usami Corral! Um, this looks like a ranch. Though there aren't many animals around. Right? Oh, you found it out! You again? Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I... I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the mainland. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? She talking about that toy she's holding? Hmm. Hmm. Still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bibbidi bobbidi bobbidi. Boo! Turn into a moo cow! Ugh. Why did it make like a cartoon squish noise? Blah! <laughs> a rip! A huge success! What was all that just now? A chicken changed into a cow? That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. 
she was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Alright, who do we got? Based on appearances, it looks like just a regular run-of-the-mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow, anyway? Toucan? A tropical bird. That's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Squish! Squish! Oh, right. This one. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. Mm -hmm. I'm Hyoko Sayanji. Squish! Squish! She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what she's doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. Can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually... Yoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Squish! Squish! Hey, what exactly are you doing? Hmm? I'm squishing! Squishing what? Mr. Ants! Duh! Mr. Ants, of course! I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants! Come again? <laughs> If you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Hey, you! Wanna do it together? H hell no! Oh, okay. Huh. You wuss. This kid. Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Yeah, I, I don't trust her at all. If she's gonna kill ants like that, what do you think she's gonna do to everyone else? I want to... Sorry, tweak something one more time. F1, that's right. I'm gonna bump the music up just one notch. Just one! Sorry for being so picky. The music's just good. Yo. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names. And I've met so many interesting characters today. Oh yeah, that's right. The southern drawl for this one. As soon as you got the asterisks in there. Or not the asterisks, the apostrophes. It's, it's all southern drawl from here on out. <laughs> I'm Nagito Komida. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, it Yo. is Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Confirmed. Ultimate gymnast. Well, Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. What? Huh? 
Don't tell me you... Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Jeez. Nikito. I think that's everyone, right? If I remember correctly, it was just those two at the at the ranch. Hotel. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps... The Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Uh, why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? I said the tab key, don't make me repeat myself. Uh, yep, that's, that's the map. Right, so these are all the little apartments, little homes. Oh, they're so cute. I want to live in one of these. However, I don't think anybody's in any of those homes, if I remember correctly. Oh, man. Maybe we should get this guy out of the way. What was that just now? Did I get a message or something? Oh, I got a pet thing. To be me. <laughs> she has a despair meter. Wonderful. Clean. Doesn't seem like I can do much with my pet just yet. Was that just to tell me that I have a pet now? Let's get this out of the way. That's right. You haven't told me your name. Oh. My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai! Jojo! Uh, um, hello. I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft! Hold right there! Your voice is too soft! Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach! Uh, um, I'm Hajime Hinata! No! You can be louder than that! Do it again! My name is Hajime Hinata! Please to make your acquaintance! I am Nekomaru Nidai! Don't forget it! Even if you go to hell! I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai! You don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. <laughs> I agree to your terms! He sure is boisterous, but it's not just his voice. His whole body seems loud. Yep. Nekomaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one? Nope. He's not just a team manager. After all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down, and led them to national victory as well. Rumor has it, he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> but with a build like this, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. With that bulge, oh my goodness. Ah uh, yes, this prick. Huh? Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass! This guy is already in a crappy mood. Why you? What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? Now, now. Uh, relax, Fuyu Hiko. Uh, Fuyu Hiko. Fuyu Hiko. 
We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce yourselves? Hey. See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. The ultimate Yakuza. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Um... Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Kuzuryu clan. The Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to a Yakuza clan. And it's the Kuz Kuzuryu clan, no less. Actually... By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. Nagito, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> oh, you're just exaggerating. Uh, guess not. Hey, bastard. If we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? Yeesh. Hey! Ugh, water. I need water. Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. You are a boy. You gotta right? keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiro Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Photographer. Actually, Mahiro is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Hmm? Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or, like, just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? Oh, you don't know. That's what that stuffed animal Kusami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone. Come on! This joke of a school trip will be over, and we can all leave this island together. That's all we have to do and we can go home? Is that true? Did she really mean that? <sighs> hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Hey. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so, but what's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along. It doesn't make any sense. But... I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal? Really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, and then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope Speak Academy? Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Hey! Huh? You... Don't, uh, me? What about your introduction? I've been waiting, like, forever, you know? Uh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you, too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad. Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. You better it's do gonna be best. tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better, got it? 
Okay, the pressure is on. I'm glad. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand too. If this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? There's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. Hajime? You haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Hey, Chiaki! <gasps> oh, oh, sorry, I must have been uh, a little too focused on my game. <laughs> a little? Are you sure about that? Um, Let's see. Uh, oh, right. Uh, introductions. Got it. Uh, I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Nice to meet you. Ultimate Gamer! I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. Yep. Yeah, totally. It seems like this conversation is going rather slow. <laughs> well, she is gaming right now. Well? It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? Sleepy. <laughs> uh, I wonder if this is Kelly's favorite character. State your business. Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction. Understood. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. Peko Peko. It is nice to meet you too. Actually, this dignified looking woman is known as the ultimate swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Pekoyama could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master, and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears... If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> it is necessary for men and women to live together, to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. <laughs> I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? <laughs> Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a misaimed blow can be fatal. Well... Well, an aimed blow can be fatal, too. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Ooh. scary but she seems reliable at least so this is the hotel restaurant amazing it's enormous we could easily hold a banquet in here kind of has this tropical open country feeling open even though we're stuck on this island hmm. are we really stuck here what else could it be sorry Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. 
Look, there are two people talking over there. <laughs> That's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Um... Poison? I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Huh? Whoa, denied. Denied? Good day. Hello. It is nice to meet you. Hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? Oh, I like his voice. <laughs> I hope we get along well. I am sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I have not properly introduced myself either. I am terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. <laughs> I am a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. S same here. I hope we get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actual royalty. The ultimate princess. Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but it's not just her beauty. She's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease even though she's a real princess. Um, um this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? What are you happy about? I... In my home country, I did not have a single friend my age whose standing in society matched my own. So, to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you. I shall extol your virtues. Extol my virtues? Uh, thanks. What the... I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru, it's so like you to check out the restaurant first, as the ultimate chef. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully. Yeah, I like it. Well... No, I, I, that's about it. I like the big city flavor of my hometown. A country atmosphere like this is also splendid. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you... Understand. Refined, cultured, guilty as charged. No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick... I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pico is actually a bit of a freak, if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong, too. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on! N no thanks. Hmm. Well, putting that aside for now... This might also seem unexpected to you, but I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um... Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we'll discuss this later. I'd better not see you try that again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. 
<laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Ugh. Let's get out of here. I don't think I want to eat anything that he cooks. Outside, all the way. Run for it. Rocket punch. Just like Doomfist. This is where Doomfist does his grocery shopping. Uh, so this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? Wow. It's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? What? You certainly are the skeptical type! Of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around! We're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except us. Hmm. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? That's exactly my point. Ugh. What happened? What happened? It's nothing. <laughs> She's staring at me funny. Um, uh, uh, um, um, <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm sorry. Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl? Not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, so, your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Of course. I don't mind you remembering it, but... M my name is Mikan Sumiki. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. I'm suspicious about this one, too. Just because of how nervous she is. Well... Um, you know... Um, my mind is drawing a blank from nervousness, and I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. <laughs> Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so what's her deal? Oh, wait, <laughs> I'm Hajime now. Ah, <laughs> uh. uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. How can you be, like, the ultimate nurse, but also be, like, too nervous to even say hello to someone? What are you gonna do if you need to perform, like, open-heart surgery or something? <laughs> Don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly! It's just I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Not that you sorry. actually want to be friends with me. Uh, I'm so sorry. I said something so presumptuous. <laughs> I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. so, so, so sorry. Uh, she's a handful. Oh, hi! Who are you? Uh, um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! Your tension is super low! Are you feeling alright? Oh! That's right! Introductions are a go go! E, Buki, Mio, Da! Put it together and what do you get? E, Buki, Mio, Da! Yes! 
All right, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. They got see. hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta, oh, melons. No problem. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Yubari would shop here. Yahoo! Dios mio. <laughs> Man, I'm getting hella stoked! I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all this deliciousness! And when I'm excited, I get hungry mungry. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? Oh, the human body sure is a mystery. Um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. Uh, she used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently, their hit single, After School Po Yo Yo Yan Hour, sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. What? Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences. Oh my my! Are you interested? What? You could hear me? <laughs> Duh, Ibuki's a musician after all. Get like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Santa, I too am an awesome musician. Wait, Van Gogh was a musician? Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Is that everybody? Cola. That's one big cola bottle. I bet it'd go flat before you could even finish drinking it. Oh boy, the airport. So this is how we can go. It'll be easy to leave. You just gotta fly a plane. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... AIRPLANES! No way! Couldn't we use those planes to escape this island? Uh, nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them. But it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who's doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right! Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya! I guess all those cola bottles are for him. <laughs> As expected from someone called the Ultimate Mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Ah. Uh, that was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Rule 1. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with fellow students. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. For now. It 
looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what the thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? But Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at the situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> yeah, if you stare closely at that strange looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. And a little bit weird. Fiend. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Fine. I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Oh my god, his voice is so much fun. I'm gonna love this guy. Hammy. R roll this world. He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Uh... You! Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! Uh, what do you mean, pact? Burn Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if he used to have a pet. A pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible! So, a mere insect. Taste your your magic essence caps at a lowly five. Trash! T trash, really. Kneel. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to what is grand as me. My name Who is do you Gundam think I am? Tanaka. I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. Uh, hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of the ultimate breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark divas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> oh my god, he's wonderful. Um, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal and even managed to succeed in proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals. Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. That's everybody for the airports. Is that a pineapple? <laughs> Through the baggage claim? Whose bags are these anyway? To go so far as to completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Nothing else particularly interesting here. Uh, 
Is that it then? Yeah, to the central island. I kind of remember what happens at the central island. So before I go there, uh, I'm going to take like a two minute break. Be right back. Okay. So, to the central island. Oh man, mean? I can feel my voice. <laughs> it's it's almost dead. Hajime, it looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? <laughs> That's what we're gonna go there to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? I need the tea. For sure. Immediately after this, I'm gonna make so much tea. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, right, this is how we get to all the other islands whenever those become available. I'm guessing they'll be like the floors in Danganronpa 1. For now, we have to go to this place. So this is a park. This is... A park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> I feel so nice. Such a laid-back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the key word. Another feature. I have a level assigned to me. Yes, I'm level 4. Uh, increases by performing various actions such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you will become stronger than you were before. Oh, I see, I see. So skills make a return, and that dictates how much I can have. Okay, cool. What do you want? What do you want? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Hey. Ah, uh, Biakia, I have time for a small introduction? Hmm. Introduction. <laughs> Come on, Hajime! Um, hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Byakuya Togami. He's back. <laughs> I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. I can tell. This guy is slumming his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Byakia for you. What do you mean? 
Actually, that guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations and his net worth is, well, enormous. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of, of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. Hm. You there. Hajime, was it? Huh? Tell me. Why did Hope's Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Uh, um, the thing is, I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. Ugh, how foolish. Um, yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing your skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? Oh boy. Here we go. Here it comes. Is that a school bell just now? Huh? I definitely need for this. Hajime, look at that monitor over there. Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy! Oh boy! I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach! <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all! What to do? She said to meet at the beach! <clears throat> Is that gonna be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. That's a lie, you've had a bad feeling since the very beginning. But... Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Uh, which way was it again? This way? Everybody's Such here. Ignorance. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly dallying for? You were just. <laughs> we were just talking to you. How did you beat us here? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, it's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Now that you mention it. I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Those are there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and that rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So we don't get lost. Is this island really so big? <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch. Um, there's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Hmm. The hotel is really nice, too. It'd be great if we can stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say, too? I found something very important on this island. 
I can't stop girls. Very, very cute girls. <laughs> All over the place. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth. Not possible. If no one here realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit! Such ignorance. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth. What does he mean? What do you mean, Byakuya? What's the most serious truth? Did... did you find out something about this island? Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Uh... Listen. That island's name is... Jabberwock Island. Same name as the park. Could it be? Could this island be... Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... Hmm. Never mind. Hold on! Hold it right there! That's a rather incomplete story you've told us! Don't worry. No need to shout. Let you know once I obtain more information. Uh. <sighs> I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we all gotta live here, right? Living together on this tropical island sure is exciting! I'm super looking forward to it! Right on! This ain't a bad school at all! Hey, you guys! I like it! I like this island too! Huh. Can't say the same about the rest of you cranes! Huh? Uh, did I hear something? Hmm. I'm so worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah! Since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope Speak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. You fiend. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Huh? To tell you the Plus, truth. even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> there's no ship, and the planes are just for show. It appears. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? It's impossible. There's no way we can swim that far. Show some spirit. What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you, that's impossible. Then, what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you. Nuh-uh. -uh. You can't do that. That's the biggest of no-nos. Got it? These are called the guidelines of this school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? Oh, uh, the, the word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Hajime. Hajime? I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now. For now, as long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that? Hm. There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. Hey! Hey! 
Anyway, Usami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Ah, oh, that's right. Oh, of course, I didn't forget. My love. This is it. Don't be upset. I prepared one for you all, so don't worry. What is this? <laughs> it's an Usami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami. Magical miracle girl, Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. What kind of milk is sweet? <laughs> Isn't it cute? Love, love. What a waste of time. Aww. Man, and I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. Well, Sami does mean rabbit, you know. I guess chocolate milk is, but she's definitely not chocolate almighty. Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everybody received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. Hey! You can't taint nature with trash! <laughs> See, even you think they're trash! Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. <laughs> oh no! And I want even one pre Ugh. And I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you, bad kids. Could it be? You have something else. Um. Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? Hey! That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island-themed. <laughs> like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? Ding, ding, ding. Correct! Whoa! Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Anyway... Excuse me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> My loins are so full of poison, and I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Wait! Knock it off, Teru Teru! Alright! Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha! <laughs> Just ignore him, Sonia! I got it! If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. Uh. Oh, a campfire sounds fun too! Let's kill! Let's find a hoop snake and kill it! You serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see! It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first... Ta-da! This is what it's all about! This is... A swimming bag! Love, love! Whoa! Then that means... Ta-da! That's right! I have swimsuits for everyone! Well, school swimsuits, actually. I hope that's okay. Oh, yeah. It <laughs> it's definitely not safe for work, Mighty. Um, but uh, nothing that Twitch can't handle, I don't think. We just have to be a little bit uh, wary of the ultimate chef over there. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? That's... It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Uh? That's right! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With the weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my <laughs> loins agree, see? Alright! Your tenderloins? I understand. Wait! S seriously, don't try to understand! Hey, hey! How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? Alright! Let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Usami and ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. What are you going to do, Hajime? Uh. Hajime. 
I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After he said that, Nagita ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so... Am I actually wrong? Hmm. What do you think, Byakya? <laughs> You're not gonna swim? <laughs> Not possible. Of course not. That's enough. However, don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be more different. Different reasons? <laughs> you cannot accept our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? C coward? What? That Osami thing is not lying to us. Uh, yeah, mighty. It's about hope. That's right. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? Then why aren't you going to swim? <laughs> I simply don't like ocean water. It's too salty. That's not something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. Speaking of little kids, you're not gonna swim? <laughs> nah, it's more fun to step on the crabs walking on the beach. I see. So it looks like she's staying too. That's unexpected. She seems like the more active type. Hey, you're not gonna swim? Huh? Huh? Of course I am, why? Then why didn't you go with the others to change? So annoying. I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take off my clothes. No, what about your swimsuit? You. There's no way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong about so many things. All right. So let's hurry and swim. With those words, Akane quickly began taking off her. Oh, well, hey. I won't forgive you. Hey there. Shameful behavior like that is a no-no. If you're going to swim, you gotta wear a swimsuit. So annoying. <sighs> what a pain. <sighs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, everyone has returned! As Usami said that, I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Yahoo! Yay! The sea! Yay! Uh, the water is so cool! It feels great! Oh, uh, too salty! This water's too salty! It's not going easy on me! Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? <laughs> oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Hey? Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. Alright, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. Oh, hell yeah! You seem a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. Oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? <laughs> oh my god. It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun. I... <laughs> yep, yep. I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Ding, 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 ding. Let's keep up the pace and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all of this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it. Huh? Hachime? Did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. 
I don't care anymore. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys, don't forget about me. Hey, hey, wait for me. Let me join in the fun. Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. What is this? What's happening? Strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Uh, huh? Hey, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. Hey! What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything! What is all this? There's no way! Something like this shouldn't be happening! And at that exact moment... Just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. Ah, uh, ah, uh, mic check! Mic check! There he is! The man himself. Mike. That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised! Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind! It's time for the main attraction! You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park! Could, could it be? Could it be? This voice? If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's so up to me. Hey, wait! Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Hmm. It's best if we go to Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Uh, hey, wait! <clears throat> but what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. <laughs> Ah, uh, the thumping. Oh my fucking god. Just found out some stores are selling the Switch Lite here, and you're really surprised. Oh, that's awesome! At least you can get that one, right? It's better than nothing. I mean, it's still pretty good, you just can't dock it. Shit, just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid! What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay. Jabberwock Park, right? Are, are you coming? Aww. Boo! There's just too many Mr. Krabs. Bye! Fine, I'll just step on them later. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I have to move my car later because our apartment is doing some renovations or repairs or something to the parking lot where my car is supposed to go. And they just sprung this announcement upon us like a day or two ago. So... Oh, yeah. Or yesterday. That that is included in a day or two. But um yeah. So now I have to move my car over to guest parking. Before the end of the night, or who knows what might happen to it. Alright, see you later. Fine, I'll just step on them later. Oh there. That's what she said. You crabs better run while you still can. 
As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you! Uh, where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> uh, hey, hey! Hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! time no see guys i am monokuma i'm the headmaster of this academy monokuma appears ahem now that i have made my dashing appearance the first thing i need to say is lame this is so friggin lame lame i say lamer than the lamest lame sauce <laughs> oh wait lame sauce is that tasty? Hey, hey! Just as I thought, it was you! But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence! Ah, shut up! Hey! I'm um... livid, you know? And I'm about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude! Just what's with this heart throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored! So hopelessly bored! This just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. What are you thinking? You've got to make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is <laughs> other people's misery and despair. You... What the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What, what is going on? What is that thing? I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick. Yeah! Hi! Hi! St stop! Chia! Chia! Da da da! Victory! No! My magic stick! Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> this is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya! I'll bite ya! I'll rip you apart! <sighs> Stop it! Hey, hold still! This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? No! That's a no-no! That's a big no-no! <laughs> supposed to look weird like this. Change me back to normal. What's this? My, my. Defying your big brother's fashion sense. Is Mono me a little troublemaker? Hey. Big brother? Mono me? My little sister. Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm setting you to be my little sister, Mono me. <laughs> Though it's only an external setting after all. Why do I have to be your little sister? Wah -wah? Big sister then? You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? I don't mm. like this. That doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Call me big so, brother. that's how it's going to be, Mono Me. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I'll never forgive you. Oh, uh, even the display changed to Mono Me. I won't uh, hey, you. I will let 
you make up your own settings. Ah! Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? Ow! It hurts a lot when you punch me. <laughs> Ow. Ah! that now you've learned your lesson what is this living stuffed animals fighting each other it's like completely insane <laughs> oh, if only I still had the magic stick I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma <laughs> it's your fault for leaving yourself open even one second opening is life-threatening on the battlefield hey 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 What's with this stupid performance? Huh? Who friggin' knows? Hmm. But it's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? What? What is this? What's going on? <laughs> huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know? How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? What does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? Ferret! I'm not a tanuki! I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! What's going on? I, I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared. I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Damn it! Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal! I'm Monokuma! The headmaster of Hope Speak Academy! This is... Monokuma. Huh? Did you say... Headmaster? Anyway... Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? <laughs> A school trip where everyone gets along has no stimulation at all, and it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey! You guys agree with me, right? Thank you for So winning. let's begin our killing school trip. Do you Naturally, best. you guys are the contestants. You're kidding, right? Killing contestants. I won't forgive you. What are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. Ah! Ow! It hurts a lot when you kick me, chill. Monami, such a dumb Jeez. child. Your brain sure is tiny, Monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time, except in manga. A little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> Allow me now to then, explain. we got off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, this killing school trip? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other. Well... Kill each other. Uh, I see. Are you kidding me? Kill each other. No way, no way, no way! <laughs> what are you saying? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. Yeah. If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right! That's right! The class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain. If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the end of the class trial, or at the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with the murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. 
As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words... Which means, if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating that word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. That is... <gasps> Execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. Uh, I'll just take a moment, mighty, to say I'm extremely hyped for Overwatch 2, too. It looks awesome. I'm really hoping we get to learn more about it next year, as it's probably going to be a while. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thingamajig claw. Ooh, thingamajig. Hmm. <clears throat> Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. Uh, to shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, woo, crushing, cursing. Shing. Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limits. You can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet. A theme park of murder. That's awesomely poptastic. That's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp, stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. D don't fuck with me! That's right! That's right! Who on earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, But no. be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't I believe. don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Huh? Hold on. You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea. I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm going to do it. What? Fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Why you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are going to lose their patience. Fine, fine. Huh. Is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. If you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey! Force? What are you going to do? Surge, oh gods who dwell between light and darkness in accordance with our contract. I summon thee now. Come forth, mana beasts. Zoids. I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Huh? What is Why this? did the statue move? Wrong! That's no statue! They're mono beasts! Ah! The monster! Hey! No, I just said they're mono beasts! The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. 
the sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. And that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of this situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No, this can't be. It's just too weird. Don't tell me. Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> <laughs> nightmare, he says. He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. Unbelievable. Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid. Ignorant cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone. Please stay back. I, I will protect everyone. I can't lose. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Uh, uh, what's this? Ugh. Oh, I know. This is nausea. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Let's go! Alrighty then! Time. It's decided! You'll be my example to everyone! Oh. Huh? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this is only the first stage, and Monomi is already dead. What? Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> Mono beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction! The sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before, and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <sighs> That's right. This is what I wanted. This feeling of despair. Giving an example was totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. Just stood there, horrified. We were powerless. No different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now. Now then! I believe I've made my point! Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me! Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all! <laughs> I'm a bear! An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere won't work on me at all! Hmm. Also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook! There, the rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly! Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then, enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. Good one, Crow. Get him. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beasts vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. Same. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... 
What just happened? Um. Um. I won't believe. Uh, I, won't I just believe. won't believe it. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> what the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Oh, it's not really impossible. Those monobies, or whatever they're called, are machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Hey, who is it? Who? Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway... More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh... You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but... Don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even or of whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Ourselves. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we, that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island, which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that killing may never occur, but even I'm no different. So can I be truly confident that something like that isn't going to happen? No, oh, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Yay! We did it! Let's kill each other! Well, I'm probably going to stop here, like I did with the first time I streamed this. It's a good stopping place. It sets up the whole game, really. Um, but I do definitely plan on streaming this regularly from now on. <laughs> I don't want to make any promises, but I do have somewhat of a schedule in mind already. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. It feels good to be doing this again. To hopefully get back into a rhythm. Um, I see nothing really stopping me. But, um, I'll keep you guys updated when I plan to do more. Sort of. And I hope to start streaming some other things too, but we'll see. We will see. Hopefully, my voice gets used to all this nonsense again. But, um... And, yes. Hopefully I can save right here. Danganronpa.
<laughs> the broken wand. Yes. Okay. Nope. It is time to go back to the menu. I don't want to see anything else from there. Yep, that'll be it. Um, thanks everybody for hanging out and chatting and stuff. Uh, I appreciate it. And I will see you around. I'm gonna go have some pizza now. Bye bye.